टुडे वी सी द प्रैक्टिकल फ्रॉम एनिमल डाइवर्सिटी सेकंड टुडेज प्रैक्टिकल इज दैट स्टडी ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स ऑफ इंसेक्ट सो स्टडी ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स इन स्टडी ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स ऑफ इंसेक्ट वी हैव टू स्टडी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स that that are modified in animals or simply the modified in insects mostly the insects so aim of this practical is that to study permanent slides of mouth parts of insects on our screen we see the um, picture of mouth parts here the these are the basic components of mouth parts which are always seen in mouth parts of each and every insect that is labrum hypopharynx labium then mandibles maxilla maxillas etc are these are the five basic components and from insect to insect the components will be change or uh, simply the modified so let us see our first type of um, mouth part is that biting and chewing mouth parts or simply it says as a mandibulate type of mouth parts so in all primitive insects the mouth parts are adapted for grinding purposes or chewing or pinching or crushing solid food material these are known as mandibulate mouth parts because they featured prominent chewing mandibles so these mouth parts we call it as a mandibulate or simply the biting and chewing mouth parts so let us see biting and chewing chewing mouth parts the basic and most primitive type of mouth parts these are the basic mouth parts and primitive one then uh, the example of this mouth part is that grasshopper cockroach then beetles these insect bears a biting and chewing type of the mouth parts so these mouth parts consist of labrum epipharynx mandibles maxillae labium and hypopharynx so first is the labrum labrum it is a flap like bilobed structure attached to the clypeus it helps to guide the food into the mouth and also holds the food in position so that mandibles can act on it so see the picture of labrum it contains fronds clypeus and labrum then epipharynx epipharynx is identified as a swollen area of ventral surface of the labrum which is an organ of taste it is called as organ of taste epipharynx then mandibles they they are also called as primary or true jaws the mandibles are the are the true jaws and are concerned with chewing and grinding the food these are helpful for the chewing and grinding of the food so from uh, for from the movement of the mandible movements produced by abductor and adductor muscles manje outer and inner muscles that is we called as outer muscles called as abductor and inner muscle called as adductor so the these mandibles are heavily sclerotized distal teeth are sharply pointed and area called as incisors or cutting the teeth okay then the proximal teeth are called as molar or grinding teeth see in the picture of 
दिस इज अ पिक्चर ऑफ मैंडिबल्स इट लुक्स लाइक अ शार्प ब्लेड ओके देन मैगजिली दे आर कॉल्ड एज सेकेंडरी जॉर्ज और एसेसरी जॉर्ज दिस मे बी employed for grasping cutting chewing the food material the basal segment known as cardo joins the maxillary to the head this is joined to the central body of maxilla the stipes on the outer side of stipes is a more or less distance sclerite known as the palpia palpifer to which the palpus is attached antenna like five segmented palpi bears tactile hairs and also probably organs of smell or taste on the distal end of the uh, stipes there are of uh, there are two lobes the outer lobe is called as gallia and the inner lobe which is called as lacina which is the two two third one then the labium labium it is a closes it closes the mouth cavity from below or behind it consists of three median sclerites that is submentum mentum and prementum on the lateral side of prementum there are two small lateral sclera sclerites called palpiger bearing seven segmented labial palpi see in the picture distally prementum bears two pairs of lobes the outer pair is called as paraglossy and inner pair called as glossy then hypopharynx hypopharynx is located medially to the mandibles and maxillary it is behind the preoral cavity and in front of the labium the hypopharynx is mostly membranous and closely associated with the salivary glands and or salivary ducts the hypopharynx functions as a tongue moving food around in the preoral cavity so these the picture showing the grass mouth parts of grasshopper now let us see piercing and sucking type of mouth parts so example of this mouth part is uh, plant bug then mosquito well known example is the mosquito and bed bug uh so let us see the mouth parts of mosquito in mosquito mouth parts are piercing and sucking type that is they are adapted for piercing the tissues of animal or plants to suck blood or plant juice the mouth parts consist of labium labrum epipharynx hypopharynx mandibles and maxillary so first is the labium the labium is modified to form a long straight fleshy tube called proboscis it has a deep labial groove on its upper side at the distal end of labium is a pair of small tactile labella which are the reduce labial palps so the function is that labial groove lodges load lodges all other the mouth parts during piercing labella guide the mandibles and maxillary the whole labium bends back to all on needle like mouth part to go in the flesh so next is the labrum labrum is long and needle like function of labrum is that this this structure appears C shape in transverse section having a groove called food channel. Then hypopharynx. Food channel is closed below by a long pointed and flattened plate like a double edged sword called hypopharynx. If uh, it possesses a salivary duct opening at the tip, so the function is that through this duct saliva is poured to. prevent 
coagulation of blood during the sucking then mandibles and maxillary long and needle shaped mandibles are present and also the long and needle shaped maxillaries are present mandibles end in sharp tiny blades while maxillary into saw like blades bearing teeth so function of this mag- mandibles and maxillary are that mandibles and maxillary act as a piercing organ in male mandibles and maxillary are very short and function less so let us see next uh, type of the mouth part that is chewing and lapping mouth part it is present in honey bee so chewing and lapping type of mouth part uh, example is honey bee labrum and mandibles remain more or less similar as that of generalized type of the mouth parts maxillary and labium are greatly modified so labrum it is a narrow and quite simple mandibles they are blunt dumb shape and are not toothed they are not used for feeding but are useful for molding wax into cells for comb next building okay these are the uh, mandibles then labium the glossy are greatly elongated to form a hairy flexible tongue the glossa terminates into a small circular spoon shaped spoon shaped lobe called labi- labellum which is useful to lick the nectar maxillo labial structures these structures are modified to form the lapping tongue the tongue unit consists of two g- galli of maxillary two labial palpi and elongated flexible hairy glossa of labium thank these are the mouth parts of honey bee thank you